Yeah, okay, we good. Whew, yes, all right. Yes, you can do this, Bobby. I believe in you. You're gonna crush this can with your mind. They do it in the movies all the time. You can do this. I believe in you. My name is Bobby Kowecki and today I'm going to show you guys how to recreate the effect that you'd see in movies like uh, X-Men or Stranger Things where you can crush things with your mind. Really easy, a lot of fun, uh, so let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so before we get started we are going to need a couple things to achieve this effect. Not a lot and pretty much stuff you could find around your house. The first one being a camera. Uh, it could be any camera. I'm actually filming on my iPhone right now. I use my iPhone to film this whole video. The second thing a can of soda. I really like Mountain Dew, even though they say it's really bad for you. Gonna need something to crush. And finally, a tripod. This is probably the most important thing in the video. If you don't have one, that's totally fine. As long as the shot look ex looks exactly the same. The shot's gotta be exactly the same setup, uh, or else this won't work. Uh, you're gonna have two clips, and when we jump into Premiere, I'll show you, but you need a tripod to film or balancing your phone uh, on a stack of books, anything where your phone is in the exact same spot for both clips. Now that we've got everything we need, let's jump on into Premiere and uh, we'll get working on some movie magic. Alrighty, so here we are in Premiere Pro and as you can see we do have the two clips here. One clip, if you click on it in preview, is me doing the hand motions but no can. The next clip is actually the, the big meat of this. What I did was a little technique called stop motion where I would come in, leave the can for a little while, come back, crumple it a little bit here. I actually got some great sound uh, off of this. So what I would do is I would crumple up the can, put it back, move on. I did that a couple times and you'll see what we're gonna do with that, it's really cool. So let's get started here, let's put the clip of me without the can here, let's create the timeline. Next, what we're gonna wanna do is make sure we're clicked over here in our preview window on the video of me crumpling the can. And let's start out with, we wanted to start out with a good long sort of sequence with just the can. Untouched, completely fine. Uh, we'll probably write about until where I come to mess it up for the first time. All right, so we're gonna hit our end point, we're gonna hit our out point, and we're just gonna drag the video over here. But now it's blocking me. Well, I'll show you how we're gonna fix that in just a minute, it's gonna be really cool. So next thing we're gonna do is wait until I mess up the can for the first time, set it back down, all right. So now, once the can's been messed and crumpled, whatever you wanna call it for the first time, we're gonna hit in or I to make our in point. We're gonna go over one, two, three, four frames. We're gonna hit out we're gonna drag that over to the timeline. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this every single time I crumple the can, right? So we're gonna move over a little bit more here. I mess up the can a little bit, put it down, get my hand out of there. In, one, two, three, four, out, and there we go. Put that there. Uh, move it over again. I'll probably end up fast forwarding through this part, but you guys get the idea. And then I think I have one more, and what I'm gonna do with that one is I'm gonna wait until I've crumpled the can, I've come out of the shot, put that down, in, scrub all the way over, and right before I sort of clicked end on the camera, I'm gonna hit out. This clip's gonna be longer because I wanna have sort of a cohesive thing, right? Perfect. Now comes the real magic part. We're gonna click on our first clip here in our top sort of uh, layer. We're gonna go over to effect controls. We're gonna go over to our opacity and we're gonna hit right here. We're going to hit the uh, button that says create an ellipse mask. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a mask for us that we're then gonna drag over to the can and you'll see it. <gasps> what in the world? Let's see here, make it a little more accurate. Perfect, and you're just gonna wanna sorta tighten this up just a little bit. 
so that it's really focused on the can. Perfect, right? And we'll adjust it for sort of lighting and detail after. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the mask, we're gonna go copy. We're gonna go over to each one of our uh, crumpled clips here, and we're just going to go over to the clip, click on it, and right click and hit paste. Bam, now I'm in the shop. Now I understand the lighting is not exact, but we'll fix that after. First thing we're gonna wanna do is just gonna go over to each one of the clips, paste the mask in, right? Now we're gonna go back over each one because as you can see, the lighting is subtly different in each one. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go over here to mask feather until we kind, you're gonna probably wanna, wanna go at least a hundred, right? At least a hundred. And let's see how this looks. Hundred looks good. There's a little bit of a drop shadow there, but we could probably make that a little bit better. This is gonna take tweaking for all of your projects, right? So you're gonna wanna just really feather that mask out until it kinda blends with the table. That looks pretty good. This is gonna depend differently for everybody, whether it's your lighting or stuff like that. So next we're gonna go over to the next mask and kinda do the same thing. We're gonna take up that feather. Beautiful. So now if we go through the clip and we play it, we have one cohesive thing. Lower the resolution here some, that way my computer isn't gonna catch fire. We have one cohesive thing where you see I'm crumpling the can, right? Doesn't look too great yet. Here's how we're gonna fix that. Sort of to add some more motion blur to it, I wanna zoom in as much as we can. Between each crumple, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the playhead right on the line once I get the trim, I want to just apply default transition and I'm going to shorten that as much as possible because I just sort of want it on the transition. I'm going to shorten that bad boy up and we're going to click it, click the transition. We're going to hit command copy and now we're just going to go here. Command paste, command paste. Command paste and command paste. Now, yeah, there we go. It looks like we got those psychic powers, that psychic energy moving. Let's zoom out. Yeah, there we go, okay. But I have those awesome crinkling, crumpling kind of sounds. So let's get back the, those back in here, right? Okay. What we're gonna do here is we are going to just find the sounds here. Uh, I think the second one was the ones that really, yeah. Let me get my, wait till I get my hands on. There we go. Out. I'm gonna bring this clip right under here. Whenever my computer wants to cooperate with us, I'm sorry folks. There we go. We're gonna put it right on our, we're gonna put it above the above. We're gonna do, now we're gonna click it. We're gonna unlink it, delete the video, and place the audio right there. Shorten that up a bit. And we should now, yeah, there we go. Maybe one more crinkle for added effect. Sound design is really key. Where was it? There we go. In. Out. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Put that bad boy right there. Make sure you're not impeding your video. Gonna go to unlink. I'm gonna delete the video. Come up here. Bring that audio in. Trim that up a little bit. Scoot that bad boy over. Yeah. Yeah, much better. I love the way that is. Okay, nice. But it could still use a little bit more. Next, we're gonna go into here. We're gonna bring this music track I downloaded from YouTube audio library over. 
it's it's this kind of cool foreboding track very uh, stranger things esque I'd say get our playhead nice command C no I didn't do that right on the line command C V delete zoom out alrighty next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna want to adjust the volume a little bit bring that bad boy down some and now The whole thing render. I like that. Volume needs to be just a bit lower. Let's try this now. I don't want th those can sounds are s perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And there you go. That is basically the whole thing. You 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 start to finish how to crush a can, an object, with your mind. And get creative with it. As long as it will retain its shape, as long as you have the ability to have the same shot consistently through both scenes, you saw five, 10 minutes, not even, you have a really cool effect that'll make your videos that much better. That's it for me this time, everybody. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, a comment, all that good stuff. Uh, if there's any other questions you have, I'm happy to answer them in the comments. Until next time, Keep making some awesome stuff. I'll see you guys around.